Let's see how to add custom recipes to Minecraft. Alright, we found ourselves back in IntelliJ once more, and in this tutorial we're going to be adding custom recipes to Minecraft. And this is actually all done via JSON files. So we won't be writing any code today, we're actually going to make JSON files. So in our resources folder, right click new directory called data. And then inside of there, we need another directory called tutorial mod. So once again, a folder with the name of our mod ID. And then inside of there, we're going to make a new directory called recipes. Once again, very important that it is recipes with an S, so plural. And inside of there, all of our recipes will go. Now, what I will do is I will actually copy over all of those recipes. Number one, you have all of them available in the GitHub repository and in individual gists as well. But where you also have them available, and this is the best resource, is under the external libraries. So I'm going to expand the external libraries here, and we're going to go down until we hit net Minecraft client extra 1.18.1, you know, or whatever your version might be. And if we expand this, take a look at the data folder, Minecraft, you can see we have advancements, loot tables, recipes, structures, tags, all of this available for us for actually taking a look at this. So if I expand the recipes folder, you can see all of vanilla recipes are in here in the JSON files. So for example, you say, well, how do I make a chest? This is how you make a chest. So you get everything in here. You can see, you know, examples of the results. You can even see hmm, tag. Interesting. We're going to see something like this in a later lecture as well. How can I make a chain, right? You can see an example of this with two keys, for example, here defined and so on and so forth. So there is all of the examples are in here, all that you would really want or need. Now for me, I'm going to copy over three recipes, the copper block, the copper ingot, and I'm also going to copy the copper ingot from smelting copper ore. So I'm going to select all of them, control C to copy, and then I'm going to go all the way back up to the tutorial mod recipes folder right here. I'm going to paste this in. So now I have all three of those in here. Now, of course, I need to change stuff in them, and I should also probably change the names. So for example, the copper block would be, let's say, refactor this to the citrine block, and then we're going to change stuff inside of here. I highly recommend doing it like this. Having over existing recipes is most of the time fairly straightforward and a little bit of a better idea. Just make sure that you change everything correctly inside of them. So for example, this now needs to be, of course, tutorial mod colon citrine. And then same with this. So I can actually co copy this over and then we're going to have tutorial mod citrine block. So now with nine citrine, I can create one citrine block. This pattern right here should be fairly self-explanatory. This is, of course, the pattern of the crafting bench. So we have a three by three, so nine slots. And for example, if I were to do this, then we would get back to something like the chest pattern, right? So where everything is filled except for the middle slot, something like that. So in general, this is pretty much how this works. Should be fairly self-explanatory. The patterns itself, they don't have to be of length three, and they also don't have to be three strings. We saw... We've seen that just a moment ago with the chain, right? So here with the chain, we only had strings of length one. So that, of course, you can graph the chain on the left, in the middle, or on the right of the crafting bench. This is why this pattern also would work. Right, so now the citrine block is done. How do the copper ingot or, you know, citrine look like? Well, so you see, this is a shapeless recipe in this case, and this then defines ingredients. So we want to delete the group here because, of course, this is not copper ingot. And of course, we also want to rename this. Let's call this citrine from block. You usually want to make the recipes as expressive as possible. At least I personally like to do this so that you basically know, okay, I can get citrine from a block. And then we'll basically just change all of this as well. So we're going to say the result here is going to be citrine, nine of them. And then this here is once again, of course, tutorial mod citrine block. So for the ingredient and shapeless, of course, just means that you can basically put these ingredients in any order into the crafting bench wherever you'd like. And as long as they appear together, then this result will be crafted. Of course, in this case, we only have one ingredient. Therefore, we only need to put the citrine block in there and then get nine citrine out of it. And then the smelting recipe, in this case, you can see also fairly straightforward, all things considered. So first of all, I'm going to also rename this. So this is going to be the uh, citrine from smelting citrine ore. Refactor this, there you go. And then we're just going to change this one more time here. I already have all of this copied over, there you go. And then maybe, for example, you might say, you know what, I want to actually get a little bit more experience here. And maybe you're like, you know what, the cooking time of this is actually going to be way more, because maybe, you know, citrine ore is, that's, you know, a little speci speci like a speciality. So you know what, it's going to take a longer time to cook. 
Right, and then of course also the result is going to be citrine and we can also just remove the group as well. But that is pretty much the general idea of the major three types. Now of course there's a few more, right? You can see there's cooking campfire, there's smoking, so for the smoker, there is also the stone cutting as you can see. So there's of course a few more things. Once again, you have everything available to you in the NetMicroft Client Extra 1181 under the recipes here. So everything that already exists in vanilla, you can very easily copy over and take a look at. This also, by the way, includes all of the JSON files for block states and models right here, but we'll see this in coming tutorials as well. So no worries there. But for the time being, this is the best resource, honestly, that you have for the recipes here. Everything that is similar to vanilla is basically available to you. Well, whatever the case may be, we have added the recipes. So now let's see if it works. All right, we found ourselves back in Minecraft. So let's see if I add this. There you go. We can craft nine citrine and a nine citrine can be crafted into a block. Now you can see that it actually will be added to the recipe book as well. So that's really freaking cool. So this is basically done automatically. Let's also see if I can smelt this and I can and you can clearly see that it takes quite a little bit longer than usual. So it definitely takes longer time just like we've defined basically. So at the end, let's see if we get a citrine as well. And there it is one citrine and and that's actually how easy it can be to add custom recipes to Minecraft. Right, but that would already be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would very much appreciate it. Like. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. So yeah.